You're out. You're out where? I mean, well, you know, you're out playing records, or you know, where do you go? You know, what do you do? What do you do? Yeah, I mean, that's what a policeman once said to me. What do you do? I got, I got. Um, sorry, I just like sidelined. No, just the way no, you said, what no, do you I do? Um, I, I, about two or three years ago, I was, um, I was going to my office in Camden, and um, um, in a lot of tube stations, especially in the summer, they have um, sniffer dogs. So I thought, right, they're, they're, uh, I had some pot. I was, I have to, I'll have to take you through the outfit. I'm wearing a three-piece Edwardian twi rust tweed um, suit, no. fisherman's bag, you know, etc., yeah. etc. Et so, of course, I get there to Camden Tube Station. There's dogs everywhere. There's, there's this disgruntled-looking ute in tracksuits being put up against the wall being frisked. I've just walked through, no problem. Coming back, there's, there's no one in the tube station apart from this bloke and his dog. I've walked past, the dog has gone straight for my, the ticket pocket of my waistcoat where I, where I, I had put the dope but yeah. taken it out. And the copper said, oh, uh, you know, he's kind of looked me up and down. He said, well, the dog said, you've got drugs. Have you got drugs? I said, well, I did have, you know, but I took him out. I knew you'd be here. He goes, oh, I've still got to search you. Went straight to the pocket, pulled out, not even a spliff's worth. And I just said, oh, you're not, are you? He goes, oh, I have to. Go and see my colleague. So I, I walked, he walked me over to, to his colleague with this huge evidence bag with this little bit of pot in it. And I could see this other copper just kind of looking at me like, what the fuck is going on here? Who is this? What? And they, and they just, yeah. And they just couldn't get their, they just, they just couldn't get their head around it. And he, he obviously, that's the thing with policemen. If you're just, if you're civil with them, they think you're hiding something. If you've got the arse with them, they think you're hiding something. And, and he, he was double checking, he was double checking. He was just, and in the end, he was looking me up and down. And, and then, um, and he asked me all these questions. In the end, he just put his pen and paper down. He looked at me and went, what do you do? <laughs> <laughs> and I, and I, again, I, so I, didn't, I just said, oh, I'm in music. And he, and he, and he said, OK, I'm going to have to search your bag. And I had a fishing bag. And all I had in it was a moleskin notebook and a CD of sea shanties. <laughs> Which had, which had a picture of three gentlemen in Sour Westers with a similar look to myself. And he just went, what, he went, what's this? I said, well, it's sea shanties. He went, oh, for fuck's sake. And just, <laughs> and just let, me, and let me on my way. So, sorry, that, when anyone goes, what do you do? I've just got visions of that British transport policeman going, what do you do? He just didn't, he just didn't get it at all. Answered. Thank you.